Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Max Steinman, the Director of Sales at Landlord Web Solutions. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the differences between the Canadian market and the U.S. apartment market and how apartment marketers um, treat things differently from market to market. Uh, one of the things that you may not know about our company is that we are trans-border now. Um, we have been operating in the U.S. for approximately a year under a soft launch and we've got around 400 Canadian multifamily um, and rental clients. And on the U.S. side of things, we have almost 50 clients now. So we've been growing quite quickly down there. And I've been spending a ton of time with my sales team um, in between and, and hopping over that border uh, and checking out different markets in the U.S. And one of the most common questions we get, whether we're in Canada or in the U.S., is how does the other country do things differently? Um, and that's what I want to speak to you today about. Um, and there is one, one major, major difference uh, between the two markets. So the big difference is that in the U.S. and most of the mid to large size cities, excluding cities like New York and Los Angeles, vacancy rates are very, very uh, medium to high in the U.S. And they are operating under uh, 7 to 10 percent vacancy in those cities. In Canada, we've been operating under a totally different environment where we've got vacancy rates in most major Canadian markets that are between uh, you know, one to four percent and most big cities are sub three. Toronto and Vancouver, for example, are operating around one and a half percent vacancy rate. And the major difference uh, between operating in a 7 to 10 percent vacancy world like in the U.S. and in Canada in a 1, point, uh, 1 to 4 percent vacancy world is that in order to find tenants the level of innovation and technology uh, that you must rely upon is a lot lower uh, here in Canada. Um, supply uh, in the U.S. outweighs demands in most of these markets and in Canada demand outweighs supply and as a result um, most of our Canadian uh, clients have been on cruise control for a number of years, um, not needing to heavily, heavily invest and rely upon um, you know, strategic marketing strategies, uh, technology, CRMs, uh, some of these trending topics uh, that are occurring in the U.S. market. Uh, and that's not to say every market in Canada is that way or every client in Canada is that way. There's still plenty of companies here who are innovating and who are have, have the pedal to the metal on marketing, uh, driving rents as aggressively as possible and looking at each and every vacancy or turnover as an opportunity. And there are markets like Alberta where you have Calgary and Edmonton and Saskatchewan where you've got Saskatoon and Regina that are operating at those higher vacancy rates anywhere from 7 to 15 percent. And as a result, those are the companies we're seeing taking that more innovative, that more innovative approach in Canada. In the U.S., uh, where you've got those higher vacancy rates, this has been going on for years. In order to be squeezing the same amount of profit out of your business as a Canadian client can in a more leisurely way, for lack of a better term, um, you need to be doing uh, quite a bit more investing in marketing um, and technology and integrated software that speaks to each other um, in CRMs for lead managing purposes and lead efficiency and uh, marketing automation tools that make things as streamlined as possible to attract tenants, bring them into your property, show them units, um, rent them properties, lease the unit up. Ultimately, um, investing in software and technology allows you to keep your margins at a reasonable rate, even though you may be running with double the vacancy numbers that a Canadian client uh, potentially is. And that's the biggest driving factor between the differences that we see in the US and Canada. And to give you one really simple example um, of how the two uh, market factors have shaped uh, some of the behavior that we see from apartment marketers from market to market, um, I want to use the example of website development. One of the most striking differences between the U.S. and Canada and how the markets have shaped up in the last five years is on the website side of things. Uh, what we've seen is in Canada, 
um, a structure built around a corporate rental brand where the corporate rental brand comes first and the buildings come second. Most buildings in Canada are more known by their actual address than they are a name or a brand. In the US, it's exactly the opposite. Uh, the corporate rental brand is sort of ditched in favor of um, branding the actual property itself. And as a result, we see tactics like microsites and having an individual single community site for each and every property um, that might be in a uh, landlord's or property manager's portfolio. In Canada, we see that all wrapped up under one brand and they get away with that um, because vacancy rates are lower. Uh, there's not that necessity in place to make every single building have a special brand uh, and you're still getting renters. Uh, in the US, uh, without that level of specificity and branding, it is harder to rent. And so we see plenty of companies in the US with CMB buildings still doing things around the corporate brand, but any, any property management companies that do manage uh, B, B plus and into the A suite of buildings um, are branding each and every community individually and have an individual website for each. So that's the end of this episode. Thank you very much for tuning in. Hopefully you were able to pick up some of the key differences between Canada and the US and how apartment marketers um, differentiate between the two markets. Um, this was a really relevant topic because we continue to forge further and further, further into the US as we continue to pick up more and more US clients. Uh, we'll continue to bring some of that knowledge back to the Canadian market and vice versa uh, to American clients on how we do things here in Canada. And that makes us very unique in this space. We're really the only uh, company uh, who's providing marketing services, who really goes um, across the border frequently and services so many Canadian management companies and now so many uh, US management companies as well. Please subscribe below and you can uh, stay in touch with us. And, and uh, we do plan on releasing another 10 of these episodes before the end of the calendar year. So uh, subscribe below and you can stay in tune. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Bye.